morning fellas Saturday morning back at the desk uh, what time we got 8, 8 o'clock 830 yeah I'm sorry five minutes and nine five minutes and nine making sure no crew members missing uh, trust them don't trust them speaking of not being trusted yeah anyway uh, just a note on this truck this uh, 1950 Ford uh, I noticed by watching most of your what's in my stash videos because there are a lot of you guys out there that have this truck in your stash so I just I just want to give you a heads up about it I don't know if you've built it or you haven't built it but uh, this kit now my beef with this kit is as you can see it's a two-in-one but the only problem is you only get one engine you don't get uh, the stock engine you get the you get that engine um, really no place the way this motor is stuffed in there and the way that those heads sit on it um, and I don't have any extra motor parts or so I'm going to have to build this stock out of the box, which I, you know, don't think that there's anything wrong with. Um, I could do other things on it. I think I'll spend some extra time on the bed. I think I might make all that out of wood. The side rails, make them out of wood. Spend some time on the back. Spend some time in the interior. I mean, I'll make the engine look nice. But there's just no space to put uh, the distributor on this on this motor. I got sitting right out in the front on this little on this little piece there. You see that piece? That's what the distributor goes on. Now these heads, the heads that you get are humongous because the. Um, the exhaust doesn't go to the side of the motor. See the see where the spots are on the motor to put like usual. Well, that's not how these go on. On this, you put the heads on, and then those go up like up underneath into these heads. Yeah, it's it's a it's a messed up uh, it's a messed up thing. But um, well, I don't have any choice so. And then the back here, I had to put this piece in because when I put these the two halves of the of the block together, this uh, where the where the, the uh, drive shaft goes into, the whole top half of that was gone. It was like uh, it the, like the mold hadn't fully filled up with plastic, so I just had to cut it off and I stuck that piece in there. I got to. Uh, once I get this glued into the frame or marked into the frame, I can, uh, I have to cut this back off a little bit. It's too far out. But uh, that was like three quarters of an inch piece that I shoved all the way in there so it would be straight. And it's come out nice and straight, so. But yeah, I had to fix that. And like I said, no, no way to, to uh, put wires on as far as I can tell. I couldn't do it. I mean, here's the, uh, that's the distributor cap. I don't know if it'll focus on that. Whatever. But I, I can't. I won't be able to drill that out and get wires and stuff in there. And like I said, they, it's just. I don't know. I know there are, I can buy motors and stuff, but I'm not. I'm not spending fifteen dollars on a on a motor kit for this. You know what I mean? 
but so that's what it is but it's going to be it's going to be the orange and the purple so the block is going to be the purple color and I got my heads and the pulleys and other stuff that's going to be orange so I think it's going to look pretty good um, but yeah I'm not happy with this kit that it doesn't come with the stock motor I mean, uh, you know, it should come at least with the 1950 version of the motor. If you, if you can build it stock or you can build it uh, hot rod, well, why doesn't it come with the stock motor? I mean, that's stupid. They don't even give you the parts to make the stock motor like, like a lot of the other 2-in-1 kits do. I've built a lot of 2-in-1 kits where you got both motors and you can pick which one you wanted to build, but not this one. Not this one. So, matter of fact, Jody Blackwell was talking to me about it. He said he's got it in his stash. And I, uh, he commented on my latest video and I told him, I said, well, watch out for the motor, the engine, because there's only one engine, you don't get two. So, he said he was going to, he's got an aftermarket one that he was going to put in. So, but, uh, yeah, so you get, so I'm just going to build it like that. I'm going to build it pretty much block stock. But uh, I think I'm just going to build it the stock version. I mean, they gave me the nice tires. I got a nice set of tires out of it. But I don't think I'm going to use those. I think I'm going to uh, use the regular tires with the uh, baby moon rims. I like those. I like those there in the end. The white walls with the baby moon rims. So I think that that's what I'm going to do. So, and I can always save the other tires for something else. But, uh, yeah, so that's what I just wanted to let you know about that kit. If you got it in your stash and you know you want to put a, a, a better motor in it, you'll have to get one because all you get is the, is the Ford V8 uh, hot rod with the, the three carburetors on it. Let's get three carburetors. The hole in the back is for the uh, oil filler. And like I said, the distributor goes on, on this little this little thing here by my finger. But the way that that the way the head on this side sits in there, they're almost they're almost touching. And then plus, in between that, I got to put the freaking coil. That coil go that coil goes goes in here too somehow up here behind this where that slot is. You see the slot? So I gotta I gotta think I'm gonna glue that in first before I do anything else. But uh yeah. So but that's all. Just wanted to let you know about that. Nice rainy day up here today and tomorrow. We're getting remnants of uh Harvey I think. What was left of Harvey, and then uh, Monday and Tuesday was supposed to get what was left of Irma. So, nowhere near what, what other guys got, but we're still going to get the wind and the rain. Plus, I guess the uh, big surf at the coast. Uh, I don't have to worry about that. I'm about 40 miles from the coast, so. But uh, we'll see how the river makes out. See if the river comes up. But uh, that's that. All right, boys. She thought I'd let you know what was going on with that uh, door, that Ford rather. So and that was the 1950 Ford 4 one Like I said, I see the water. I see this kit. A lot of you guys, a lot of you guys stash. So just to let you know, give you a heads up about what's what's in it. So all right, boys. I'm running out of time. Uh, enjoy your weekend. Have a nice day. Uh, peace out.